Driving through the remote vastness of North Dakota gives you plenty of time just to yourself. As I drive across this vast land of dirt roads and family farms, I am enjoying my search for what I hope will be a memorable evening of photography. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jason Yoder, and of course this is where I share with you all of my travel and photography experiences. Welcome to the plains of North Dakota. So a few weeks ago, I uh, did a little episode about how I find places to photograph in areas I've never been to before. And I'm now exploring a couple more of those spots. I'm actually trying to go for a little house on the prairie tonight. This is the first of two possible photo locations that I'm going to try and do here at sunset. There are some very light high altitude clouds, might provide a little bit of color. We'll see. I was just photographing this from its sunward side. And if, we, if I decide to come back here after I look at the second place, then of course we're going to try and shoot uh, towards the sun. The only problem with this, there's power lines. So that may disqualify this site from uh, where we're going to be photographing later this evening. One thing though I'm really loving is how remote this spot is. I mean, I can see some farms on the horizon, I haven't seen another car pass me in a long time. This is wonderful. Colors of fall are everywhere. Even though there are not many trees, the landscape is slowly changing from the bold greens of summer to the yellows and browns of autumn. The first stop this evening was okay, but not really what I'm looking for. I'm heading to another little house, but I've made a mistake. A mistake that is about to really pay off. Well, I made a slight navigational error. The little house on the prairie that I was hoping to photograph, I just looked at my map. It's actually an hour to the north still. We're about 30 minutes from sunset. We're not going to make it. The other place that I thought was what I was going to aim for is one of the spots I marked on the map. It's this church. Pretty cool out here. Looks like they may have outhouses back there. But anyhow, uh, the coyote, that coyote, coyote we saw back there, that was also pretty cool. So I need to try and figure out where I'm going to do my photography for this evening. I don't have a whole lot of time to figure this out. So I'm just going to kind of glance over the map real quick and uh, kind of make a little decision here as to what it is I'm going to do. This gem in the middle of nowhere is the Norway Lutheran Church. The congregation of this church was organized in 1884 and built their first log cabin church across the road in 1886. The current church was built in 1907. It was built in the Gothic Revival style with a 65 foot tall bell tower and was also added to the list of National Historic Places in 1994. This church is built on a hill well above the Source River and it easily survived two major floods in its history. One of my favorite discoveries as I flew the drone around was the sunlight flowing through the stained glass windows. With the sun dropping ever more closely to the horizon, I started capturing aerial panoramas of this captivating place. Show the way, but they are not rough. Legends and unknowns. 
lessons I can stand the way And those priests talk In the state church or elsewhere Try to get it right From the start Unite mind and heart Choose a way And don't go astray And try to ease the pain Don't stay the same Love your neighbor That's the labor So we didn't get Little House on the Prairie tonight that's okay we'll try that tomorrow night uh, but we did get some nice images had a great relaxing drive really I'm in really in, am enjoying these beautiful temperatures these beautiful fall temperatures here in North Dakota but time for me to get back to the hotel and get ready for tomorrow so as always thank you very much for watching check out patreon.com forward slash EWJ and I'll give you the locations where I was shooting tonight and of course if you can Open your hearts and homes to a shelter animal need. And if you can't, please consider donating to your local animal shelter. With an open heart and mind and arms laid down, your wall and hate and arms let in. The light of day and let Jesus show the way. But hey, I'm not religious in a old sense. I can't stand the way that most priests talk in the state church or elsewhere.